Good morning. My name is Pradeep Shetty and I'm a mindset transformation coach and a positive psychology coach. And today I brought you a, a great topic which says declutter your mind. My dear friends, in Vastu, they say that uh, in your house, if you have many things cluttered in one place, like uh, clothes, if you just open your wardrobe, just see everything is messed up here and there. So that is called cluttering. If you see many things, you know, getting accumulated one over the other at any corner of your house. So that is called cluttering. Just open your drawer and just see so many things lying over there, used, unused, not required. Few watches which doesn't have a battery. You have many wrist watches. It's not working. It's there lying in your drawer. Please give it away. Anything which you have not used for more than six months, it's being said in Vastu Shastra that it is idle, it is blocking your energy. Please go ahead and throw it away or either give it to somebody who can use it. Because anything you are trying to pile up, which is of no use to you, you're not using it, the energy gets blocked at that place. So the first and foremost thing, do remember, in, even in Vastu Shastra, they say that do not keep anything piled off piled up one over the other, especially the clothes, especially in your wardrobe. Just open your wardrobe right now. Just pause this video and open your wardrobe right now. And I assure you, I am 100% guaranteed that all your clothes are messed up. Open the drawer. So many things lying over there which you have not used for more than six months. Please either give it to somebody or throw it away into your dustbin. Okay, so that will declutter the place. So what you're trying to do here is you're trying to create a place, an open space for more good things to come into your life. Similarly, now this was a physical thing which I was trying to tell you just to explain about the mind. Even in your mind, somebody has insulted you 10 years back, okay? And you are, even today, remembering that person. You've never forgotten that place, that moment, that uh, in front of everybody, you know, somebody insulted you, you're feeling bad about it. Now, all these, you know, things, the resentment which you're holding, it's trying to put you down. It's trying to get your energy level down. I just studied, um, uh, there's a person, maybe, you know, to be very specific, one of our cousin having blood cancer. And our doctor has said that uh, she's in her maybe... You know, the 75% of the blood cancer, blood, uh, you know, it's polluted and the whole body is messed up. They did not come to know. And finally, it's around 75%. So anything can happen any moment. And chemotherapy and all those things are going on. But uh, the main reason which I found out through, you know, mental, through mentally, uh, how I found out through Louise Hay's book, and she says that it is due to resentment. You hold many things in your life, some grudges that one day you will show that person how strong you are. You are holding some negativity in your mind. You're holding something bad in your mind again and again and repeating it. Maybe that person is no, no more now or person is not there in front of you, but you're still trying to recall all that bad things, that negative things happened in your life. So when you keep recalling all these uh, negative things, a bad things which happened, somebody insulted you, somebody shouted at you, somebody yelled at you, somebody ditched you, somebody did not give you that love, affection and all those things. I'm talking about your past. So all these things happening in your life and you keep remembering it whenever you are alone. Maybe nobody is there at home and you are remembering that old moments, uh, that best moment yet your friend in college or maybe in school promised you he, will, he or she will marry you. He did not marry or she did not marry you. Maybe that thing, you know, something or the other, it keeps bothering you again and again. So all these things, you need to dump it. So there is a beautiful technique which Bruce Lee used. Yes, Bruce Lee, the karate champion, used was he used to write down all these clutters in his mind into a plain sheet of paper. He used to burn it, all those things, and flush it into the toilet. So out of sight is out of mind. So always remember this, out of sight is out of mind. So always keep your mind clear, clear, and the clarity of the mind can come only through good reading, through meditation, and through writing things. Yes, my dear friends, journaling, that's what I want to tell you. Uh, not in this video, but definitely, if you're not doing a journaling, please buy a 100 pages book from your local stationery shop or a diary 
and every day something good happening in your life something i mean you might you might have learned three lessons in your life every single day because life is just like a lesson every single day you learn something new from yourself from your loved ones from in and around you from your neighbors from your society from uh, the place you work every day you have something to take and a person says i don't have anything to learn i've learned everything then that person is very very egoistic okay so learn something and just jot down two or three things in that journal every single day and you will find that yes so many good things are happening in my life say take things in a positive way just like a half glass water a person with a negative attitude you would say it's half empty but the person with a positive attitude will say it's half full so be that half full guy and ha develop that positivity into your own self and start seeing things in a positive way but the thing is you have been already programmed into your subconscious negatively right from your childhood whenever a child grows from 0 years to 7 to 8 years everything programming of that child goes into the subconscious mind it might be with the family which he or she is staying <laughs> with the friend circle sorry or with the, anybody the person is interacting and everything so all these things whichever environment that person or the child is brought up everything goes into the subconscious mind of this small child up to the age of seven to eight years that becomes the foundation of its life in future it might be related to finance it might be related to relationship it might be related to work it might be related to how to behave with people in and around you it can be anything so it's so deep so do remember my dear friends try to declutter all these negative things and the best way to declutter is write it down and burn it off write it down in a piece of paper and throw it off you need not show it to anybody uh, or just go into a closed room and start yelling at that person shout that this person has you know failed me in life or shout at that person and just you know throw it away or go to a beach if you're staying in and around the beach just go to the beach and uh, of course do have your breakfast or lunch and then go because you need to do some shouting yeah shout and yell at the beach looking to the ocean towards the ocean uh, keeping your hands open keeping you know your arms open like this and sh shout whatever you want to you want to you know say anything just shout and remove it from your mind so when you remove it from your from your mind just like when, uh, whenever you have any problem when you tell it to your close friend you become light correct you feel good you feel nice oh you have told your friend your whoever who you trust to so you become light and uh, you feel good in the same way just tell to the universe and just remove it from your mind so when you become light you become stronger you become better so that's how you will start getting positive you start getting better in your life and many things will get resolved the only thing what we do is that we keep resenting inside and inside and inside and finally the more you uh, you know repent more you resent inside automatically disease starts coming into your life you start getting blood pressure you start getting heart attack you start getting diabetes mellitus you start getting you know various diseases related to blood and various other things so why do that don't hold any resentment against anybody come what may situations uh, has to be different up and down but you need to be strong and powerful so my dear friends start working on this declutter whatever you see in and around keep your place clean neat and tidy the first thing i want you to do is open your wardrobe right now and clear all the mess okay if you're not using any clothes if you're not using any jewelry <laughs> just give it away to somebody who needs it you got it so do remember that and be positive because being positive is one of the great things in your life early morning go for a walk you know brisk walk just put on your shoes and clothes listen to the best music which you love not other people love what you love and start working going to go to the nature sit with nature and you will get all the answers to your problems so thank you very much i hope you love this video do share it with your friends who has a lot of clutter going on in his or her mind so that they start feeling better and better and better because it only starts with you remember that whatever happens in your life you yourself are responsible Okay? you yourself nobody else it's not your parents it's not your brother it's not your sister it's not your company it's not your environment it's not your neighbor 
it's you yourself are responsible and you yourself can make yourself better so it's being said a man is the architect of his own future always remember you are the captain of your ship mm -hmm. it's you who need to train your mind to drive your life not anybody else so stay tuned and do a lot of meditation read good books read Bhagavad Gita or Holy Bible or you know uh, any books with great respect the Holy Quran or any any good books positive books which gets positivity into your mind and stop watching TVs the TV serials and all those things because all those things are negative every moment you're getting negative into your life and it's being written in the Holy Quran that job is dunya ka antim samay aayega ghar ghar mein bhoot naachega that means to say when the last moment of this world comes in every house there will be an idiot box yes i'm sorry to use the word idiot box means tv mm -hmm. And person has never stepped out of his house, but the person comes to know everything what is going on in the world. Okay, so this is the clear symptom that world is coming to an end. Anyway, it's going to come to an end in a couple of years. Surely, no doubt about it, because a new paradise, new world is going to come on this earth. So thank you very much. Do share. I'm not trying to create fear in you, but just be positive about life. Uh, be enthusiastic read books and be positive okay take care of your health thank you very much this is pradeep shetty here positive psychology coach signing off for now take care bye bye thank you